For more than 10 years, a main mission of Mexico's armed forces has been combating powerful drug trafficking organizations. But until now, the country has had no legal framework for allowing the armed forces to carry out that task. Weeks before Mexico's new internal security law passed the legislature, it received public support from Mexico's top military leader. Las Fuerzas Armadas. The armed forces respectfully request once again our government move forward with this urgent law, which we insist obligates government authorities in charge of security to defend the Mexican nation. The law, which took effect on Friday, legalizes deployments of the Mexican army and marines to regions where drug-related violence is widespread. Former Mexican President Felipe Calderón was the first to send large numbers of troops to fight drug traffickers back in late 2006. Since then, more than 200,000 people have been killed in the nation's drug war and more than 30,000 have gone missing. Drug-related violence has reached some of Mexico's most important tourism resorts, including Acapulco, Cancun and Cabo San Lucas. This week, some Mexico City residents voiced their opposition to the measure, calling it a step toward martial law. By CGTN's count, the number of protesters is in the hundreds. On Mexico City scale, that's a micro-protest. But still, they represent a large number of organizations and individuals who oppose this move by the Mexican government. The United Nations and Mexico's own National Civil Rights Commission are among those who also oppose it, saying the measure blocks public oversight of military operations. Opponents also fear that the Mexican government will use the law to impose military crackdowns against legitimate political opposition. This law will facilitate government and army repression in a country where impunity is the catchword in terms of human rights. It will make the situation much more serious. What they are doing is institutionalizing a failed public policy. The deployment of the armed forces has not reduced drug violence, nor has it reduced crime or drug trafficking. Despite such opposition, Mexico's constitution now allows this nation's military forces to do the job that police have, until now, failed to get done. Frank Contreras, CGTN, Mexico City.